director and Academy Award winner Quentin Tarantino. That film has to be like one of the most quoted movies in yeah. Hollywood with, with just the lines and everything. So you got to give us. This is one of my questions for you, okay. Q. What is the most famous line? Your, your favorite line uh-huh. from Pulp Fiction. Uh, I think probably the most famous line is, I'm going to get medieval on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> <Big What? laughs> uh, pleasing your fans or pleasing the critics for you? Oh, interesting question, actually. Uh, um, well, I want to I want to please my fans. I don't want to please the critics that are my fans. Uh, the critics hate my fans. I don't give a damn. Bro, Quentin Tarantino <clears throat> Quentin Tarantino is talking like a bad undercover police officer. Like y'all ever seen uh what's that movie when uh Robin Williams uh dressed up as the woman to be with his kids? Uh Mrs. Doubtfire. That's it. That's exactly how Quentin Tarantino sounds while he's trying to be hip on 106 in part. And Jamie Foxx is sitting over there with his head down. He's like, man, this this white boy is over here uh, <laughs> sounding like he's spitting a bad freestyle. He's like that one uh, trailer park kid who goes to an inner city black school. So he try to fit in. So he watches a whole bunch of hip hop videos like Run DMC. And he's like, what can I say today? <laughs> You know that he, what he's really doing is is fulfilling his vision. You know, this he's a I'm not that computer savvy. So if he had sent me something that I plug into my computer, I don't know if I would have ever heard it. All right. Hey, download this. I don't know how to do that. All right. You know, so uh, he put it on a cassette tape. Then Jamie, my man. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Goes to be my man comes back with Rick Ross. Rick yeah. Ross and the whole posse. <laughs> we all got contact high on the set that day. The whole <laughs> MG. Oh. Yeah. Well, what happened was is that I, bad men, a hundred black grays so I can lay their ass in. I need a hundred black preachers with a black sermon. Go over to Carrie with my little taper going to play. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. That's in the movie. And Anthony. Is Hamilton Quentin Tarantino on a Molly? All right, man, you saw that BS act he put on for 106 in part. Now, let's watch how he really talks. You don't got to do that just because you're in front of black people. You don't got to do that, man. Like, we speak English. <laughs> I mean, you hear me talk. I don't even talk like that. And I'm from down south. The intention of getting him to where that glass is. Yeah. Well, that's a good idea. My part, I think. Yeah. But once I get them going there, they might not. They might reject the glass. Right. And they go somewhere That's else. That's his and real they are voice. The ones that know best. That's how he really talks. That's how he really. He came on the 106 in Park talking like Jamie Kennedy in Malibu's Most Wanted. Your ancestors are turning over in their grave when they saw that 106 in Park interview. Like, what the hell is Quentin doing? We didn't raise you in the suburbs for you to go on stage in front of all them black people in New York City and act a fool. Be yourself, dog. You don't got to pander. Don't pander. You don't never got to pander, dog. Like, we still go. I still mess with your movies. Even though you said the N word in Django more than a Lil Wayne mixtape, I still mess with your movies. You can be racist. I don't give a damn. I don't be racist. You make good content. As long as it's great content, be as racist as you want. The Hateful Eight, racist as hell, but I love it. Yeah, and, and you're, when you're writing that, are you thinking of a particular act? Killer. Almost everybody, I didn't think, I didn't have anybody in right, mind right, at all. Right. And I actually think it's one of the reasons why the characters became so vivid. Killer. Is because it was more like a novel. I wasn't. Vivid. Did he say words like that on one assistant part? Hell no. Killer. Vivid. Scrumptious. Quinoa. Gluten intolerant. This man was being phony as hell on 106 in Park. A TV show a lot of black people and other people of my age group grew up on. 
Y'all see how fake that was? I'm still watching movies, but that was fake as hell. Hey, man, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if you ain't already subscribed, dog. All right, man, out.